In the vast and intriguing realm of Hueco Mundo, there is a fascinating figure that transcends the norm of the Espadas, the powerful Arancars who command the spiritual underworld. Among them, stands out Nel Il Tuo del Schwank, the former Trace Espada, affectionately known as Nel Tu when she was small, of gentle and childlike nature. However, the unfolding story goes far beyond the surface of the spiritual world. Imagine, if you will, a curvaceous, adult creature with long waving green hair and hazel eyes. A striking scar and a crimson line adorn her face, and pronounced lower canine teeth add an aura of mystery. Her once noble attire is now a torn skirt and top, connected by a single strip across her abdomen. A large, three, tattooed on her back bears witness to her former position as the third espada. However, the true uniqueness lies in her childlike form, where extremely wide eyes and a remaining hollow mask create an image of a child in a world of adults. A constant struggle between innocence and experience unfolds. Nell too, a truly unique word, with a vocabulary that contrasts with her appearance. Peculiar expressions, such as calling her uvula a throat penis and self-identifying as a masochist, reveal unexpected complexity. Ichigo Kurosaki, upon encountering such eloquence, suspects the influence of her hollow companions. Ah, how she shines during the introduction of her team, self-proclaimed thieves, Nell Don P.E., in a Super Sentai spectacle. And what a lovely touch of irony, for despite fearing the Shinigamis, she develops a bond with Ichigo Kurosaki, one of them. The complexities of relationships flourish even in the arid grounds of Hueco Mundo. When Nelio returns to her adult form, we witness a stunning transformation. A white, skin-tight outfit with tan fur lining around her hips reveals a new facet of her existence. She becomes a majestic sight, with white gloves, green fur sleeves, red pauldrons, and long white leggings adorned with heels shaped like ram hoofs. Her hair becomes more exuberant, her horns more intricate, reminding us of her true Arancar nature. And, oh, her personality. A charming duality between the playful child and the mature adult. A loyal, respectful, and trustworthy warrior, yet endowed with sharp intelligence. Her aversion to unnecessary violence, shared with Kenpachi Zaraki, adds layers to her complexity. Love for reading, compassion for friendships, and a humorous disposition emerge as captivating traits. Nelio's story unfolds in a past of constant challenges with Neutra Gilga, an antagonist who challenges gender and power norms. A conflict of brute strength versus reason, instinct versus maturity. The battle extends beyond blades, revealing life philosophies and ephemeral desires. But the true twist lies in the betrayal of Neutra and Sailaporo Grands, a cunning ploy that leads Nelio to an infantile form and an unexpected fate. Her fractions, Pesh and Dondo Chaka, become her protectors in a journey of amnesia, fraternal love, and a quest for truth. In Nelio's arsenal of abilities, we find mastery with the sword, prowess in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and an impressive command of sonido. Her Ciro Doble, a dance of spiritual energies, echoes the duality within her. And how can we not mention the peculiar Nel Tamapunch, a feat that defies logic. But like every great story, there are weaknesses to be faced. The childlike form limits her powers, and regression after an intense battle is a reality. The betrayal of Neutra and Sailaporo reveals a surprising vulnerability, highlighting that even powerful Arancars have their limits. With that said, we plunge into the depths of Hueco Mundo, where the story of Nelio Tuo del Schwank defies expectations. A narrative full of dualities, complexities, and dramatic twists. On the stage of spiritual battle, true strength lies not only in blades but in the nuances of the soul. With that said, thank you for getting lost in this tale of shadows and light. Until next time, where spiritual paths intertwine once again.